Tonight's public meeting at Payne Branch starts at 7 o'clock. Three more forums are scheduled at different schools through February. You can visit our website, news8.net, for that complete list. Kathy Park, News Channel 8. Robert Altman of the News Channel 8 Traffic Center. Let's take a live look what's happening on northbound 270. The slow traffic continues moving up through Montgomery Village Avenue on and off as you build in toward the Clarksburg area. Not one solid delay this afternoon. Actually looks good heading up toward Route 80 Urbana and up toward the Frederick County line. No major problems continue. Antelope Beltway right now through the 270 spur still jammed up about the third accident or incident of the afternoon. This one right near Chainbridge Road 123 Antelope Block the left side of the roadway. Delays continue on the Antelope from 270 all the way down to 66. That's a solid 40 minute trip on the Antelope Beltway. So a pretty busy roll now heading out of Maryland in toward Virginia on the Antelope heading in toward 66. Northbound 95. Slow traffic from 100 up to the accident that's actually on the southbound side at the Baltimore Howard County line blocking the left hand lane. That's the latest in the News Channel 8 Traffic Center. Mike, back to you. Robert, thank you. Parents and students in Montgomery County will get their chance to weigh in on school start times tonight. It's been an ongoing debate for years, but as Kathy Park reports, the change could happen as soon as the 2015-2016 school year. Kathy joins us now with a progress report. Well, Mike, this time last year, concerned parents launched a petition asking the school system to change high school start times to 8.15 a.m. That's 50 minutes later than what it is now. Today, that petition is more than 11,500 signatures and also the support of the school superintendent. 